What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, I wanted to talk to you guys and show you on how to hook up a external model, a Samsung model, to your HP Pavilion G6 by using a VGA analog signal. By the way, this model here does not have any own type of connections like HDMI, DVI, or also main this display port, and also uh, any other type of connections this um, model does not have because it does has a analog uh, VGA uh, VGA input only, and that's what also my laptop has a VGA and HDMI. But this lap uh, this. Uh, Model is also very uh, thin and also very lightweight. Uh, it does not have an internal uh, power supply. It has a external power supply, a brick and stuff like that for this uh, uh, model to work. And it also has touch sensors buttons on the bottom of this display. It doesn't have physical buttons. And that's something I really don't like about monitors that have touch sensors buttons because it's very, very hard to control uh, the buttons on what you uh, need to look for. Now, on the back of the monitor, I'm going to go ahead and turn the monitor around on this type of monitor here. I know that you guys can really see what's on the back, but here is the power input. It's probably a 5 volt. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, now it's 14 uh, volts uh, for this model, and it also has just a standard uh, VGA connection on this model, and this is a very, uh, very lightweight Samsung uh, model. Uh, this model uh, does not adjust, you can't adjust it or anything, it's, it's just a fixed, uh, it's fixed to its stand and stuff like that, but... Well, let's go ahead and show you the uh, power book it actually comes with. And the power book, it's a pretty uh, standard size power book. You guys can uh, quite see that. But yeah, that's a power book. And again, it has a very uh, thin cable. And that's just a non polarized uh, plug hill. This is just a standard Samsung uh, power book. It, actual goes to this uh, monitor here. That's a pretty nice, this is just what it powers this monitor alone. Now, you're going to also need a, a VGA cable. Uh, some monitors include this cable, some monitors do not include this cable. But yeah, you're just going to need this type of connection, that's a standard VGA and you're also going to need your laptop computer to be able to connect the external monitor to your laptop computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and power the unit. We're going to plug the uh, power book into the back of the monitor itself. But like I said, it's a good monitor. Uh, it's not a very good uh, monitor because it's, uh, like I said, it's a very fixed monitor. Uh, what it's normally normal models or like uh, it's a nice model it's a good size and it's also a very good lightweight model for uh, for anybody who wants a small model and of course the LED light is now on it's going to display a picture it says not connected to anything but that's typically normal with a a VGA model system now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn it off. And like I said, it does have touch sensors uh, system. And we're going to go ahead and set the power brick uh, on the floor for it now. Because we're not going to need it. Now, what we're going to need is we're going to go ahead and turn the monitor uh, around here. Before we can actually connect the uh, VGA uh, system to the monitor as well. Now this does have uh, some screw-on connections for the screws to connect to the blue uh, VGA connections on the back of the model, and that just helps to kind of hold the uh, 
connect all on the back as well. This is where the uh, blue connection goes, and this is also where the PAL input goes over there. Now, uh, on my laptop computer, my laptop computer does not have a place to screw the uh, VGA connection on to the uh, computer itself, and it's just going to go here, and we're just going to go check the plug it into the side of my laptop computer. It's a very nice connection, and there also is a saw connection as well on the computer as well. Now, one thing I can tell you with uh, auto connections, <coughs> they look pretty good for certain type of use on certain type of connections. Now, if you do have a, a VGA system, like most uh, computers, auto computers, and also uh, desktop computers, uh, this model will work just fine on those computers, and this will also work on a Mac as well, but you would have to probably get some type of a adapter to adapt this type of model to a Mac book computer. Now, like I said, this is a nice, uh, nice model if you actually want to have two models on your computer. Now, remember, my laptop here can only display two models. The main model on my laptop and also the uh, model what's on here. Now we're going to go ahead and open up my HP uh, laptop's model uh, screen here and we're going to go ahead and turn the model or computer on. First of all what we need to do is we need to turn the display on to actually get that signal but you can see it's not going to have a signal because now it's connected and then it has found a source to connect the uh, computer directly to the laptop. Now we're going to go ahead and turn this on. And the computer is now going to boot two monitors here. First is going to boot the first monitor. Then it's actually going to switch here to the second monitor over here. I don't need to change anything because the uh, computer does it by itself. It automatically finds the drivers and the model uh, output to output to a normal model display. Now, one thing you might have to do is you might have to adjust the autofocus on this model here to able to work with the own uh, computer. Now, we're going to go ahead and turn the brightness down. On the laptop. Oh, well, that's not going to really work. As you guys can see, the brightness is very bright. And let's see if we can actually go to the menu. But hey, you know what? It's just the model. It's a you know external model. It's going to be very bright. And we're well, just going to go ahead and type in the Dewey code here for my laptop computer, or we can actually boot into Windows and I'm sorry if the screen is very bright on both monitors here guys we're going to try to uh, adjust the screen brightness on each of these monitors here but I don't know if I can do it with this one like I said it's just it's okay I guess uh, like I said it's not too bad but like I said, it again gets really bright if you want to actual look and see what your monitor is and stuff. You can see now I have my laptop with my uh, external monitor here. Now everything's still loading on uh, my computer. And it's a very nicely designed built monitor for an external uh, computer. Now, one thing I can do with this is uh, turn it off. And I can actually now just use my main uh, screen on my on my laptop and if I wanted to too I can just turn it back on and it just comes back on automatically. Now it is a settings on here is a uh, autofocus to actual adjust the uh, screen resolution to the uh, to your computer's needs. 
Now, we do have some, you know, up and down kind of things, like touch uh, buttons, like you can actually change the brightness of the computer, uh, model computer, and also the main uh, computer. Now, you guys can see what I can actually try to do. So I can t try to turn the brightness down on my laptop, but it doesn't really turn the brightness down on the display itself. The only way you can adjust the display is you can uh, have to adjust the display uh, output on this to a soft or smooth uh, display for a smooth or, uh, look. Now, you guys can really see this one is a little washed over here on this side. And we're going to try to keep my main model from flickering too much because, I don't know, it's just weird. But this is how you can uh, output video uh, from VGA uh, analog to a analog model itself to a external display. Now I just turned it off because I hit the touch sensors buttons on this thing and so it gets kind of flaky. It's like, ah! It doesn't have visual buttons, but this is how you can actually control your uh, two models to the ghetto. Now, you don't have to do anything to adjust the uh, video output. The model is going to do everything for you, the computer is going to do everything for you, and your computer is going to find everything for the external model. Alright guys, if you're brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, please leave a comment down below. And also please share and please like as well. And alright, Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog. Peace out. Bye, guys.